Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss about a very important topic, NDWI, how we can easily monitor the NDWI, mainly Normalized Difference Water Index, calculated using R Studio. So let's go our class how we can easily calculate the normalized difference water index using R Studio. So today I will try to discuss about this all of those things step by step. So I hope you can easily learn about this topic. So let's go. So first step with that we have to import the library. So just to simply import the library. So just I simply use here the library function and call my library is that RGE. Okay, so this is my library. This library I already install it. So just I simply import this library. So it's successfully imported, you can see. Okay. So after that, I simply use here the art engine initialization. So put here this initialization. And then click the run. So mainly it successfully connect with my art engine server, which I created. You can see showing the initialization Google Earth engine is done. And we also find out my username. Okay. So now in this first step is that I need to import my boundary shape file. You can see here I imported the boundary shape file of Dhaka city. So now I need to import it the boundary shape file. I need to import it boundary shape file. So in this time, how I can import the boundary shape file in R Studio from Google Earth Engine asset. Okay. So for that, what can I do? Just I simply open my asset. You can see. So just I simply click on here and simply copy that. I simply import uh, it is store it my Dhaka City boundary shape file and paste here. And then I simply uh, change the name. Suppose I put the name such as a ROI. I define a variable name so I use here this uh, greater than hyphen sign so it's mainly equal and I simply instead of the dot notation simply put here the dollar sign okay so now it successfully imported the boundary shape file and store it in this variable ROI okay so now let's check we want to display the boundary area only boundary area in this here so just I simply add a layer map dot add layer I simply put here this add layer and call my object is that ROI okay so now click the run so now it display only for this boundary which is the imported from the art engine asset okay so now you can see it imported okay so this is my study area so for this study area I want to identify the normalized difference water index so mainly this index identify the water pixel value on the surface so let's go how we can easily do that. So in this time, I need to import the satellite image. Which satellite image you want to work? So import the satellite imagery. Okay. So in this time, I want to work with that uh, Landsat imagery. Or if you want, you can also use here the Sentinel-2 satellite imagery. So for that, what you can do, just simply, you can see this is the data set about that multi-spectral instrument level 1 C data mainly it is the sentinel 2 satellite imagery just simply copy this snippet from here just simply copy and paste in your R studio and then give a variable name I put the variable name suppose image and store it all of those things in this uh, image variable use this sign and instead of the dot notation simply put here the dollar sign okay so now you can see it will be successfully imported the image collection and it's stored in this variable name is the image so now this image i need to filter for my specific time period for the specific uh, metadata as well as also uh, take the median composite all of this thing we're filtering so for that simply use at the dollar sign and then simply use at the suppose filter bounds function okay filter bounds with roi Okay, after that we need to use here the another thing is that filter date function. So use here the filter date and put the specific time period. So as I put the time period here of 2020, uh, such as uh, uh, 06, such as 01, from I put this in, that will be 2020, 
such as uh, October 31. Okay. After that, I simply put here this dollar sign and then also put the another argument is that such as uh, filter metadata. Okay. So mainly filter metadata, it filtering the image properties. So in this time, I want to call the image properties from the image description. You can see uh, cloud pixel percent hence. So simply copy that and then paste in here and use here this uh, less than such as less than one percent cloud cover percent hence. Okay. After that, I simply create the median composite. So use here the median and then simply clip with my shape file. So just use here the dollar sign and use here this clip function clip with my study area is that ROI so ROI okay so now in this time you can see I just simply imported the image collection and also filter this image collection according to my region of interest according to the specific time period according to the specific uh, metadata or image properties then all of those things I create the median composite and clip with my shape file so now let's uh, we can simply run the code we can check what happened you can see okay so there is a no problem or there is a no error so it means that this code is successfully run so now display the image so you can simply use at the again map dot add layer function so use at the add layer function and call the image and then click the run so in this time it displays the satellite images without color without band combination as well as also without color you can get the image you can see look like that but when you want to add here the visualization then we can get the satellite image visualization satellite image okay so i will already discuss about the video uh already create the tutorial about that you can also check from this playlist yeah uh, for the r studio with google art engine i hope you can easily uh, do that in this time from this image i show you how we can easily calculate the normalized difference water index so first of all we need to create the equation what is the equation about that NDWI so if you want to write the equation NDWI is that uh, is that we can simply write that uh, green minus uh, near infrared divided by green plus near infrared so this is our equation okay and this equation when I want to do for the sentinel 2 satellite imagery uh, it will be uh, this equation will be uh, B8 minus B3 and then uh, divided by B8 plus B3 okay so basically B8 is the uh, sorry it will be B3 okay so it will be B3 is the green and B8 is the near infrared okay sorry for that it will be just I see mistake in here so it will be B3 and also put at the B8 okay so it, B3 is the green and B8 is the near infrared for sentinel imagery okay i mean it's not of the comment sentinel to satellite imagery for sentinel okay so in this time i just apply this equation and then from this satellite image i just calculated the ndwi so let's go how i can do that so for that i can simply take a variable suppose ndwi okay in this variable i just call my image okay so this is my image i simply call and use a function is that this function called the normalized difference function so normalized difference function i simply call and then i need to mention here the all of those band which i want to need in this time i need the green band and near infrared band so put here the b3 and also put here the uh, b8 okay so in this time when i put here the normalized difference function this normalized difference function mainly calculated the green minus near divided by green plus near infrared band and make this equation look like that and also calculated the NDWI. So now we visualize the NDWI result and also run the code. So simply click to the run. You can see successfully run. So now visualize the result. So use at the map dot add layer function and call the NDWI. Okay. And I also want to add here the visualization. So for the visualization, I create the another uh, list about that. So I put here the VIS and in this time I make a list. So use here the list function. In this time, I mention here that first of all color plated. So color plated, I mention here the plated function. In this plated, I just simply mention all of those color which I want to need. 
so for that i simply use at the plated and in this plated i just simply uh call the c and define all of those color which color i want to show suppose in this time i want to show here the red color after that i would have this such as uh yellow color after that i want to mention here that such as a blue color or okay green color then put here this uh blue color so put here this uh, blue okay and i also mention mention here about that minimum and maximum pixel value i want to show the mean it will be start from that uh negative one and max up to such as uh, 0.5 okay just i simply do that and after that i simply call here this uh variable name vis okay because after the object name we will put here the vis so now i simply click to the run the code again select and click to run again so in this time uh you can display the NDWI map in here and we can also get with the visualization and from this visualization you can easily identify where the water body is present or not you can see this is the map about that NWI and this map create from the sentinel 2 satellite imagery so here we can get this is the blue color identify the water body so we can see the water body we can easily identify the ground water pixel value from this time period okay so you can see this is the water body and from this map we can easily uh, export this map using the you can simply change the different types of base map you can see world um, uh, imagery you can easily add that and you can simply export this map you can see save as the image you can easily export this map as the image as well as you can also uh, save this map as the web page suppose you want to uh, add this map any web application okay so for that simply save as the web page you can see i simply save and put the name suppose uh, in dwi dot html and then click the run so i replace it i already save it okay so now uh it will be showing this result in the in the web page you can see nwi as the html page we can get this okay and now we can easily add this page with uh other any types of web application and also work with that for displaying the nwi map with the web application or any other website we can easily replacement and also add this uh web application with that okay and also display the result you can see if you want you can also add the legend on this map in here okay and uh, for this uh, next tutorial, I will try to show you that how we can easily add the legend on this map. Okay, so I hope you can easily learn all the things step by step. So if, if you want to get this type of practice code, you can just uh, join in our WhatsApp group and also join in our Telegram group. As well as if you want to join my upcoming online training program, uh, you can easily join and also join the live training program and also learn all of those things as a beginners. So as the beginners, if you don't know any programming language such as Python, JavaScript or R programming language. So I hope after completing this online training program, you can easily learn all of those programming language as well as you can also learn all of those uh, Google Earth Engine function. And you can easily create different types of remote sensing analysis using this platform. So you can see our registration is open for the seven days of complete Google Earth Engine training for remote sensing and GIS analysis beginners to advanced level and this class will be start from the 11th August 2023 admission last date is the 5th August and we are also offering the first five registered people get the 50% discount okay on this uh, price so if you want you can get this 50% discount so as soon as possible you can simply contact with this whatsapp number as well as you can also contact with this email okay and basically this online training program taken will be uh, for that seven days and we take the class only for the friday and saturday in a week and uh you can get the total uh three hours live training program it will be start from the 9 pm to 12 am gmt plus six okay this is a time prior as well as uh you can get this all of those description from here you can see so basically this class we uh, we teach all of those necessary things to use the google earth engine platform for remote sensing analysis we mainly focus on those people who don't have any programming language or any knowledge about the art engine function so after completing this online training program, you can easily learn all of those things very quickly and efficiently and apply for the remote sensing analysis. So here you can get all of the course content. You can see uh, all of the course content, how, what you will learn after completing the total seven days online training program. So you also check all of those details from the video description. So all of those things you can easily get from the video description and you can easily get the benefits from the online training program. You can get the course e-certificate after submitting all of those assignment you can get the materials such as pdf slide all of those things you can get you can get all of those practice code okay 
and also you can get the recorded video classes when you uh, if you miss any classes then you can also easily recover uh, from the recorded video class will help you and you can also get the lifetime teaching support okay so when you face any problem regarding any issue about the google earth engine for remote sensing analysis you can get the lifetime teaching support when you applying this online training program okay so if you want to join this online training program just simply contact with this whatsapp number as well as you can also contact with this email then you can simply registration and join in our google classroom okay so today is no more i uh, stay safe and stay happy so thank you for watching that